welcome back to Rock Recipes. We are here at Bakaloo Cottage in Ochre Pit Cove, Newfoundland, and it has been just the most beautiful summer. I have been here since the beginning of July, just soaking up the bay, soaking up the blueberries, the chanterelles, the ocean. It is just really healing to the soul, and I'm very happy to be here, and I'm very happy to be cooking in this cute little kitchen again, and today we are going to be making an ultimate Newfoundland comfort food dish. This is an incredibly indulgent dish. We're making cotto gratin. I did French immersion for 12 years and I totally understand that it's, it's gratin, but like nobody will ever call it that here. It's gratin. Cotto gratin. Nevertheless, it's absolutely delicious. Basically, we're working with some cod that we caught with my great uncle Boyd in Portagrave, Newfoundland this summer. Um, what a beautiful experience that was. I'm so grateful to Uncle Boyd for taking us out. It was the most beautiful day imaginable. I'm also very grateful to my great aunt Gloria for cooking me and some mainlanders I brought a gorgeous lunch and to Virginia and Jason for coming on down on Virginia's birthday to help us skin and gut the fish. So big thanks to the Morgans and the Boons. We really appreciate it. Uh, and today uh, we're gonna work with the fruits of our labor with this gorgeous cod. So we're gonna take these beautiful cod fillets. They're going to get smothered in a gorgeous bechamel sauce, which is kind of uh, livened up a little bit with some lemon, some Dijon, some Parmesan cheese, some summer savory from Mount Zio Farm, um, classic Newfoundland pantry item. It's delicious. After that, we're going to cover all of that in cheddar cheese and top it with some nice breadcrumbs to get a gorgeous crust and you kind of get this creamy, delicious, ooey gooey seafood dish at the end of it and it is indulgent and I'll tell you right now, this is not the recipe to try and make healthy. This is an indulgent dish. This is the point of it. So my recommendation, use the full fat milk get some really good quality cheddar cheese. I like the old white cheddar from Balderson. And again, star of the show, get fresh, beautiful cod. Obviously we're totally spoiled here in Newfoundland, um, but the freshest you can get is gonna make this dish magnifique. But again, it's getting smothered in sauce and cheese. It's delicious even if it's frozen cod. <laughs> we're gonna start over on the stove. What I'm going to do is add three tablespoons of butter on low heat in my pot here. And to that, I'm gonna add equal parts flour, so three tablespoons of flour. This is gonna create kind of like a, a roux base to thicken our sauce. So we're gonna cook that stirring, whisking consistently uh, for about two minutes, basically until the flour cooks into the butter and yeah, you kind of get this gorgeous kind of golden brown color, but definitely not burnt. I'm gonna take two cups of scalding milk. So I've actually just put this in the microwave for two minutes. So pouring that in while whisking the roux consistently, this is going to keep everything kind of homogenous. So continuing to whisk the milk while we're cooking this on low heat, you're gonna see the sauce start to thicken up. So keep on whisking, I promise it will thicken. Now that we see that our sauce has thickened up, what I'm going to do is add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, as well as one teaspoon of lemon zest, which is really going to brighten this up. I would not skip this step. So that, about a teaspoon of Mount Sayo Farm savory. Dried oregano also works, or dried dill. Then we're just gonna season with salt and pepper to taste and stir that all in. As you can see, it looks gorgeous. Um, I love how the grainy mustard looks in the sauce. Um, it really smells delicious. So now we're going to bring this sauce over to the table where I have three pounds of cod fillets, give or take, arranged in the bottom of a nine by nine glass baking dish. What I'm going to do now is add the Parmesan cheese to this bechamel sauce um, and basically doing it right before you pour it on top of the fish. Um, kind of prevents it from getting gloopy and sticky. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Mm. 
Okay, our sauce is ready. We're gonna go ahead and pour this right on top of the fish. Next step, cheddar cheese. I am using one and a half cups of cheddar here. My preference is a white cheddar. I like an old cheddar. I think the flavor is just nice and sharp, but not too sharp. The best version of the recipe is going to be the one where you use the best quality ingredients. So great quality cheese, good cod, full fat milk. This is not a recipe where you want to cut corners or <laughs> try to make it healthy because, hey, it's an indulgence. It's the whole point. Every time I make this recipe, I just always forget how easy it is. Very last step here. Here I've got one cup of cracker crumbs. I'm actually using panko because same difference, as well as a little bit extra savory because I like the contrast and I like the flavor. So just stirring that all up. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle the cracker panko crumbs all over the top. And that's gonna give it this like beautifully nice, crispy, crunchy crust. Um, and underneath it's just going to melt into gooey cheddar and gorgeous, rich sauce. Very easy. We're gonna pop this in the oven now at 350 degrees. We're gonna bake that for about 45 minutes. After that, it's gonna come out bubbly, golden brown, ooey gooey delicious, and we're gonna try it. Into the oven we go. Too hot. This is the best thing I have eaten in a very long time. Oh, it's like mac and cheese, but way better. Mm. Okay. You have to make this. Just make it. You won't regret it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me here at Bakaloo Cottage today. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This is one of our most popular recipes after like 15 or so years. Um, and for good reason, it is a true comfort food dish. Let me know if you try it. I think you will love it. Sorry to those who are lactose intolerant. I uh, can't really help you here, but next time. I'll think of something for you. Enjoy these dog days of summer, get out there and enjoy it, and we'll see you soon.